From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. Lots of people be hitting the beach this summer. And guess what? Of course, we have to remind ourselves it's dangerous to be in the sun. The sun can lead ultimately to skin cancer. Yeah, and skin cancer is the most common form of cancer in the United States. It affects one in every five Americans. Well, May is Melanoma Awareness Month. And uh, I guess with respect to that, I was invited by brilliant Harvard-trained dermatologist Dr. <laughs> Misba Khan to be evaluated yesterday in her offices. And uh, I put on the flimsy pajamas and had an evaluation. And I have to tell you, it was rather pleasant, but unfortunately... <laughs> rather pleasant, Dr. Khan. She found She's something. laughing. She's laughing. It did not... Well, look, it's not that bad, but you found something. Dr. Look, Khan, welcome to Good Day New York. Thank you for having me. That's the whole point of examining, that you came in, we were able to evaluate you, look you up head to toe, see if there was anything that was abnormal and needed some attention and that's what we were able to accomplish for you. So you didn't find any moles that were abnormal, but you found other things well, that were abnormal. No, no, stop. This is, no, no, no. The no. problem is you found, you, we, we have a picture of the mole that you found that I, I it's been there for years. I never yeah. gave it a second thought, but let's put it up on the screen yeah, and so tell us what this means. Yeah, so let's go over that exactly. So th this is actually uh, just uh, for general public. Pop, uh, there it is. They, there it is. So this, this is Mr. Kelly's mole that we found on the abdomen. Apparently it looks fine. It's not, It's probably been there for years. Probably you were born with it. I'm not quite sure, but it does seem like if you look at it under a dermatoscope, which is a handheld device that I used yesterday for exam as well. So if you look at it under a special light, you can see certain features that do demonstrate that it probably needs some evaluation. Looking at all the A, B, C, D that we talk about the moles, there is asymmetry, the border changes, which are a little bit more irregular, then there is some color changes as well. The mole is not uniformly colored. And then the diameter, there's a scale at the, there's like a little scale bar if you can look at that. Mm -hmm. So anything above six millimeters, it just wants your attention. Not that it's supposed to be abnormal if it's like large of a mole, but if it is in that range, it should be looked at, it should be examined and evaluated, and until proven otherwise, it can be something potentially a little more dysplastic. So this contraption that you had yeah. looks at the mole closely, so you it's can identify pretty yeah. much right away whether this needs to be biopsied or not. Yes, this actually helps us enable us to figure out which moles need biopsy right away and some of them that you can say you know what I'm not worried about and they may look very big they may not look very pretty they may not be aesthetic to the eye but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're bad moles it's mm -hmm. just that they're not pretty moles so it just figures it out for you helps you enables you to decide which one you want to biopsy so if you if you just a few things that this device is able to do one of them is it magnifies the mole for you we can and see, number if you two, turn this around this yeah. way you can actually okay so, Angela, this is actually this, yeah. what a mole can look like under this device. It looks not so pretty. And if you look at it under the, just with the naked eye, it looks like it's just a simple mole. But you would not know how to evaluate these very important features wow. unless you had a magnifier and a polarizer attached to it. can you take a picture now can, with um, this? Yes, of course. I'm just wondering, I have a mole on my face. I sure. mean, I kind of had my body looked at, sure. but I've had this mole, obviously, I was born with it. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Okay, take a look. Can, can we take a yes, look? Yes, absolutely. Let me just turn this on. So this was this is what you were born with. They're not going to be. Yeah. So has anybody else ever looked at it? Uh, actually, no. They've looked at moles on my body. Okay. okay. So you were checked out so, not rec just recently. You yeah. had some things removed. I had two okay. removed. Okay. Well, this first of all, I'm not worried about it. I do okay. not want you all to right, be worried so about it. But then at the same it. time, it's very very simple to do it. So you just put the the dermatoscope right smack on the mole, and you take a photograph. And then you just capture it. And then you can take a look at it now and see. Now, your first and glance, is, mm -hmm. it, is there an issue with it? I'm not worried about it. Good. It's completely okay. normal. So it's good. Yeah, you took a ready. biopsy on yes. what you removed. When are we going to know the results? On your stomach? In a few days. In a we few will days. Know that, we will know the results from it. Now, you have a little kind of message that you get out there about your your birthday and yes, yeah, uh, what I, you should do on your birthday. Yeah, so I tell patients to get your birthday suit examined on your birthday. That's <laughs> a very good way to remember that at least once a year, get your full skin check. And it has to be done by a board certified dermatologist, somebody who knows and is is able to identify. I am a skin cancer surgeon and so are many other people. A lot of doctors, they also dermatologists, they practice skin cancer surgery. So it's better to go for somebody, especially if you're a high-risk patient, that you should get yourself evaluated well, by somebody else. Well, I was getting checked out. You mentioned uh, uh, sunscreen. Not all sunscreens are alike. You have a message about yes, that? Yes. FD has come up with some new regulations about sunscreen. So it's important to know for the patient safety that which ones to look for. Whenever you go and buy a sunscreen, important things are to know whether the sunscreen will only prevent you from a sunburn 
or whether it will also prevent you from a skin cancer. And number two, there is very strict regulation in terms of how much time you can use a sunscreen when you're in water. So whether it's water resistant or not, and if it is, then for how long it will Okay, be. you have a free event going on today? Yes, we have. Where at is Corn it? Wild Cornell Dermatology on 70th in Europe, we're doing a free skin cancer screening. It's going to start at 1 o'clock. No insurance required. You do not need to make an appointment. So if you haven't had your skin checked yet, please stop by. I will be the one, one of the doctors doing the skin cancer screening over there. It's free for all. So come anytime. Time. Very good. One o'clock. That's seventieth in York, and I can vouch. I can say it's actually a pleasant exam. Really? Yeah, Are you the, concerned uh, about the results, though? Uh, moderately. Yeah. Moderately. I mean, it looks it looks suspicious to you. I, I I would not say anything until and unless we know the results. I think it was important enough that we biopsied it, Dr. and then we'll just leave it there. Very good, Dr. Khan. Thank you. Thank uh, you so much. I guess I'll be talking to you on the phone about. Yes. As soon as we get the results, we'll be in touch. The lab results. Okay. All right. Good right day. Back. He's coming right back. You're okay, right? We'll see.